Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 minute gaming channel and today we're in Fallout 4. Yes, I know it's a seven year old game, but I've been getting into the modern scene quite heavily on a lot of games lately, as you may have noticed from the channel. Fallout 4 was kind of next on my list after I saw some of the cool mods out there of like tactical, new modern weapons, graphical overhaul mods, and just some of the videos I've seen. I was like, wow, Fallout 4 looks incredible now. You can turn the hood off, you can have AK 47s, you can have modern guns with scopes on. It's just fantastic. So much out there. When I Googled how to mod, a lot of the videos were either way too long or out of date or just didn't explain it easily. And that's, of course, where I come in for you guys. I'm just going to show you how it's done quick easily and concise before we get into any of that though i'm well on the way to 3,000 subscribers now almost there so please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell like the video comment below if you have a favorite mod that you like to use or recommend some mods i haven't got and finally just share it if you think anyone might find it interesting and without further ado let's get straight on with it so the first thing you're going to need is some sort of mod manager, mod installer. You can't do it all manually, but the problem is once you do things manually, if you screw something up, you might have to reinstall the whole game, and that's just a bloody hassle. So I would go for Vortex. Vortex is made by Nexus Mods, and Nexus Mods is where you're going to get most of these mods from. The only one that I haven't kind of found on here is the Modern Weapons one. I had to get that separately, but apart from that, everything's on here. So let's get that downloaded and installed onto your machine. Vortex mods looks like this. It's very easy to use. And then you go on to the Fallout 4 Nexus mod section. Find a mod that you fancy. So we'll just go to go into the mod you want to download. And there's two ways you can install the mod. The easiest and quickest once you have Vortex installed is click the Vortex button. Some will only be manual install. We'll cover that in a second. Once you hit download, it will go into your download section in here. You'll see it download all in here. It does not download in your computer. Once it's done, it will come into the mod section in here. On the left-hand side, you can enable, disable, or uninstalled. Just change it from not enabled or not installed to enabled. It'll then change it to a little green tick. You will see it go on there. It is so easy to do. So if I just disable like that. You see that's doing up there then click enable there you go deploying done it is go down to plugins make sure it's enabled in here a lot of the tutorials i looked at didn't show you how to do this so make sure you go in here and enable every single one otherwise they will not work the one step a lot of them didn't tell you to do is go into dashboard here you can see fallout 4 you launch Fallout 4 from here. You, the other way, remember when I said there was a manual install option as well. Once you go into mods, you can either click and drag into there or install from file up there. Once you click install from file, you can just go in and click it. See, there's modern firearms in there. Just remember, you have to click on dashboard and then launch from inside here. Don't launch from anywhere else. And then once you open the game, start a new game, it'll load all the mods in for you. Just before I go, one little thing to mention, this mods are staged on drive E. If you go to settings and mods, you have to make sure that's in the same drive as where your Fallout 4 is. So if you click suggest, it'll usually work out where it is and then click apply. Just that's one thing to note, that's one little bit that played me up at the beginning because it just wasn't working and it was because of that. But it told me up here in the notifications that I had a problem. So all I did is click fix and then click on there. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it was informative. I'm going to come back in the next few weeks with a top 10 list of my favorite mods. So yeah, comment below and leave some mods I might not have heard of down below so, so I can maybe cover them all. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.